and certainly it will embolden those violent criminals. So if the community side really cares about the stability and the prosperity in Hong Kong, and really cares about the good health and the safety of those 300,000 Canadian passport holders in Hong Kong, and a large number of Canadian companies operating in Hong Kong SAR. You should support those efforts to fight violent crimes, those efforts to make sure that the one country, two systems is more steadily and comprehensively implemented in Hong Kong. And that is exactly what the national security law in Hong Kong SAR is meant to be. So I would like to suggest that people here take an objective and a fair view of what's happening in Hong Kong and to make sure not to interfere in those domestic fears of China so as to prevent further damage to our bilateral relationship.